Brew Banshee, it's Eugene. Once again, we're in San Jose. The Bay Area keeps providing superior beers. Uh, this time we're going to be at Strike Brewery. I'm going to be speaking with Ben. And uh, we're going to be tasting a flight of four beers today. It's going to be excellent. Strike is going on just over three years. Definitely got their feet wet. Definitely producing some really good beers. Uh, you can definitely find it at the San Jose Giants game. Refreshing, cold, blonde Santa Cruz beer is my favorite whenever I'm there. So kick back, relax, get a cold one in your hand. See you on the side. What's happening? It's Eugene over here, and we are at uh, Strike Brewing Company in San Jose, California. I'm here with Ben. You nice got to it. Meet you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Um, so, once again, let's go ahead and tell everyone just briefly Strike story. You guys are about three years old. Coming up on a third year anniversary. Um, obviously, uh, we have some baseball ties. Yes. Um, one of our brewmasters is uh, previously with the Red Sox organization and strike temperature, strike water, everything's about hitting numbers when it comes to beer. Mm -hmm. So uh, made sense to connect all of that and um, yeah, been excited to join the team in the last almost six months, uh, coming up on the third anniversary been pretty excited to come on as the director of brewing operations and one of the brewmasters. So, exciting. Absolutely. Yeah, we're very fortunate to have as many breweries as we do in the Bay Area, especially in San Jose itself. Um, every day there are more. Every yeah, every, yeah, <laughs> every day, which you know, uh, which is why it's important to stand out, right? You guys have uh, some pretty amazing beers. Um, if you're ever watching San Jose Giants, make sure to go to their kiosk over there. Um, they do have the IPA, they do have the Santa Cruz lawn there as well. Um, so pretty refreshing watching the ball game. We're excited to be part of the local community here and yeah. there's nothing more local than the San Jose Giants. Exactly, exactly. So let's jump right into it. I'm gonna scoot this over a little bit right here. We're gonna go with the first one on the right. It's our two seam IPA. Um, we were fortunate enough to come up at the top of the uh, list of winners of the US Beer Open or Open Beer Competition um, with IPA, which is a very tough one to compete within since everybody makes one. Absolutely. What you're going to get here is um, a very basic malt bill and Amarillo and Mosaic hops okay. and those Amarillo and Mosaics come across with a good amount of citrus that's dominated um, with the use of Mosaic hops which are very uh, melon-like yeah. come across much more complex. It's actually very nice and, and this is the second take if you guys uh, are wondering but um, actually the second time drinking this I get a lot more of, of the, the melon. Yeah. Um, first time I had it was really just very light, but actually sure. it comes in a little bit more on the second uh, on the second drink. Your palate's always adjusting to what's been in last. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you can't brush your teeth and go taste an IPA right, right, right. and understand what it is. <laughs> right. But like uh, it's minty. <laughs> yeah, but um, collectively as beer makers in the country we're trying to add complexity, evolve the hops that we want to use more of yeah. and that are being received by the community, yep. um, which grows, again, like breweries every day. Yep. And yeah, we want, we want the farmers to 
prosper as much as we want to. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and Mosaic has been on the been on the list for the last handful of years, and most everybody is enjoying them. Yeah. Therefore, it's a, it's, the growers keep growing them. Yeah, and yeah, it's definitely one of the more popular hops. Absolutely, absolutely. So we're, you know, very excited and proud to take a medal at the U.S. Open Beer yeah, Competition. That's great. That's and great. Especially for IPA. Especially for a small brewery down in San Jose. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right on. Number two. Number two, we've got what we call the Night Train which is actually the nickname for our local fire department. Okay. And they're right up 10th Street here uh -huh. on Tully. And that's what they call it. They work 72 hour shifts. They're amazing guys. And while we were making this pale ale, they walked in off the street and told us how much they wanted to be friends. <laughs> Therefore, we named this beer after them. Well, good for you and good for supporting the uh you know, the fire department. Yeah. Right on. So, Azaka hops um, and some other randoms we threw into to just experiment with. But again, a pretty basic hop bill. I think it came out crystal clear yeah. and delicious and yeah. in support of all of the tireless first responders in this community and being community-based means yeah. more to us than anything. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely... Um, still hoppy, still basic hop, or basic malt bill. Yeah, it's um, definitely got the malt but it's, leave, too. It's For also me, got a little, a little absolutely, a little marmalade, a little yeah. um, breadiness um, yeah. that, you know, it's our good. secret. Very, very good. <laughs> um, Number three. Number three is our Lumber Buster Lumber Brown Buster. Ale. And really just, I mean, see for yourself, comes across with a very smooth, creamy, coffee-like mm -hmm. character, but mostly that's from the chocolate malt that we use and um, dominates, dominated by malt. It's very hop, or I'm sorry, malt forward as opposed to the last two. And I think it it comes out. Well, it's actually really smooth. You know I don't like the word actually, right? <laughs> actually, actually. <laughs> no, that means you expected it to not. But uh, no, it, it it's a very, I mean, if you were to, it's very smooth. If you yeah. were to come across to with competition for this flavor, you'd be talking about nut brown ales and yeah. that type of thing. So we're obviously, like I said before, always evolving mm -hmm. and that's based on ingredients. And this one we've really taken a hold of recently and it's coming out great. I'm pretty yeah, excited it's, about it. Yeah, it's very, very smooth. I'm trying to like, the nose on it reminds me of like, uh, like I went camping recently and I had s'mores. Sure, you know, I could get that. that the yeah. nose, that's kind of the nose that I'm getting off of there. Cool, man. As long as it's pleasant, we're happy. That's very pleasant. Very good. <laughs> All right, um, last but not least. Number four is part of our collaboration series that we've, we're at, I believe we're five rounds into, but this was the first one, and it's Marin Brewing Company up in Larkspur, mm -hmm. uh, north of the city, and it's a Saison. And I guess it would actually fall into a Super Saison category, which is means it's strong. And so, so Super Saison means it's strong. What's the ABV on that, on the Saison? 7.3. Oh, wow. So it's a big boy. Yeah. Uh, coriander, orange peel, warm fermentation, oh, yeah. all lend, lend themselves to um, what you've got in front of you and you get it's fruitiness. The ingredients that gets put into beer, I mean, it's very, you know, similar to a chef. Absolutely. You know, I mean. That analogy is made frequently, um, but I would definitely consider us more bakers. You know, we romanticize, you know, the brewing of, of beer and the process, yeah. which is awesome. Yeah. And I've been doing it for over 20 years, but, um, 
really manipulating the organism and Saccharomyces is, is what's doing the big work. Mm -hmm. So we're just creating the pathway. Right, right. Uh, we're training the, the, ground, the ground, exactly. ground floor for all this building to be done. Still like the romanticism. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it's, it's, uh, it's a cool beer we're really excited about. Oh, wow. It's got a ton of different wow. things going on in it. This is, uh, if it tastes anything like the nose, it's going to be delicious. Arnie Johnson is the brewmaster there and one of my best friends and uh, being able to collaborate with he and uh, you know James Costa from Half Moon Bay mm -hmm. has been really happy. I mean, I, I just it's that's what I want. I mean, why wouldn't you make your desert, desert island beer? We're proud to be on your list. Um, we're excited to uh, have you in. Thank you. It's, I really, uh, really appreciate it. Yeah. And again, uh, we're at Strike in San Jose. Please stop by. Uh, you'll see the hours and location notes um, in the description below the video. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for having me. Thank and, you for being uh, here. We'll see you on the other side. Thank you everyone for checking out my latest video. Thank you Strike and Ben for hosting me and let me taste some of your fantastic beers. Strike information is available in the description below. Uh, make sure if you're in the San Jose area, especially if you're at the Giants game, you've got to go ahead and stop by the Strike kiosk, get yourself a fresh blonde. Super good, super refreshing. And uh, as always, keep your feet in the sand and the beer in the hand. Take care.